What is method overriding? Method overriding is a feature that can be used only in inheritance concept. You need to have a superclass and a subclass. For example, animal is a superclass and animal has this method public void voice. It has public access modifier, written type is void, name is voice and method is not taking any parameters and there is some code written inside the method. There is a subclass cat that extends animal. Cat has overridden its superclass method voice. Important point, when subclass overrides superclass method, it has to follow the exact signature. While following the signature, there are few points to remember. First point is access modifier. You can increase the scope of access modifier in the subclass. You cannot decrease the scope of access modifier in the subclass. So what does this mean? For example, voice in superclass animal has public access modifier. Public access modifier is the widest scope. When you override this method in subclass cat over here, you cannot change this to default, protected or private access modifiers. Why? Because when you override the method in subclass, you cannot decrease the scope of access modifier. You can increase it, but not decrease it. If the voice method in superclass animal has default scope, this public access modifier is not there, then you can make it public or protected in the subclass. You can increase the access modifier. Second point is, in case of written type, it should be exactly same. If the written type is void, the overridden method should also have written type void. If the written type in the superclass is int, you cannot have float or any other written type in the subclass method signature. The written type should be same as superclass method. Again, the method name and the parameter list should exactly be same. You cannot change the parameter list while overriding a method. So what is method overriding? Method overriding is a feature that allows a subclass or a child class to provide specific implementation of a method that is already provided by its superclass or parent class. When you override the method, you can redefine the method. That means if superclass has given some code, subclass can change the code written for the method. It cannot change the signature. Method overriding is same signature but different implementation. Runtime polymorphism or dynamic method dispatch is achieved by using method overriding. In simple words, subclass needs to redefine superclass method following the exact name and signature of the method, but subclass can have different implementation. We have seen method overriding earlier. We have seen two string method, public string two string belongs to object class. That is the cosmic superclass for all Java classes. We override this method and write specific code in our class to print the object data. So this was method overriding. Write a Java program to demonstrate method overriding. We are going to implement the same real life example of class animal and cat. By implementing real life examples in our programming code, it is easier to relate and understand the concepts. So in this program, we have class animal that contains a method void voice. It has default access modifier, written type is void, name is voice and it is not taking any parameters. There is some code written inside it. Then we have class cat extends animal. Here we have done method overriding, void voice with no parameters. We have followed the exact signature but we have given different implementation. Then we have a class override demo that has main method. Here you need to pay attention carefully animal a equal to new cat. In this statement, the reference variable a is of type animal and object is of type cat. Cat is an animal. So when you have is a relationship that is inheritance, you can assign object of subclass to the superclass. You can assign cat object to animal reference. But the other way around is not possible. You cannot have subclass reference and superclass object. Important point to remember, so whenever you assign your object to a superclass reference and you want to use the object to call a method, that method should be overridden method. It should be present in superclass as well as subclass with exact signature. Whenever you assign your object to a superclass reference and you want to use the object to call a method, that method should be overridden method and it should be present in superclass as well as subclass with exact signature. 
so as soon as this object is created object of type cat and the reference variable is animal memory is allocated for the object and reference variable is stored on stack actual object is created on the heap there are no instance variable hence memory for instance variable is not allocated next statement is we are creating object of type cat cat c equal to new cat here the object is of type cat and the reference variable is also of type cat this is a regular object what we do regularly so inside the memory c will have its memory reserved on stack and object is created on the heap now the next statement a dot voice here there are two things you need to understand when this statement executes a dot voice where reference variable a has object of type cat but reference variable a is of type animal so in this case you need to understand two things at compile time compiler will check whether the method voice is present in animal class as well as cat class having exact signature if it is not present in both the classes you get compile time error now you may have a question which voice method is invoked at run time well method belonging to the object type is invoked so in our case we have cat object assigned hence method belonging to cat class is invoked so when this statement is executed control of program will go to the voice method belonging to the cat class and the code inside cat class is executed system.out.println voice method from cat class is being called this is printed to the console and the next statement cat is mu mu backslash n adds a new line to the console so this is printed and a new line is added after the execution control comes back and the next statement is executed that is c dot voice now c is the cat object and it has cat reference so when this statement is executed compiler doesn't check whether the voice method is present in animal class or not it will give a call to voice method belonging to the object type that is class cat and the code inside is executed so the same output is printed again if you want to invoke voice method of animal class you need to create object of animal you need to say animal a equal to new animal only then the voice method of animal class will be invoked how to check whether you have done method overriding correctly or what is dynamic method dispatch dynamic method dispatch is also called as runtime polymorphism it is also called as late or dynamic binding dynamic method dispatch is the process by which a call to an overridden method is resolved at run time rather than compile time method is bound to object at run time so what happens when when you call a dot voice at run time java interpreter decides which method to call in case of method overriding that is run time polymorphism depending upon the object hence method is bound to the object at run time when you assign subclass object to superclass reference java determines which method should be invoked that is whether a superclass method or subclass method based upon the type of object being assigned this determination is done at run time that cat class voice method should be invoked because in run time polymorphism jvm decides the method at run time not at compile time this is a very important point to remember and if voice method is not present in both the classes that is animal class and cat class or the method signature is wrong you get compile time error you can assign subclass object to superclass reference and check at compile time whether you have done method overriding correct